Hi guys, I'm a Forrester here with a quick video about upcoming gear reviews. Now, as you can see, I've been busy lately shopping for new gear, pens, knives, and even a new handgun. This will just be an introduction to the new gear. I won't review it in any detail in this video, but first I want to explain my situation a little. And I've explained this before, but for new viewers, I buy my own gear mainly because I can give you a more honest review of it that way. They're not going to be all positive. I'm going to have negative things to say if I notice them. I mainly use my retirement check from an industry job that I had back in the 1980s to fund this hobby. The ads on my videos that you click on and the purchases that you make on my Amazon portal help me out greatly also. But every year I find myself planning more than shopping over the first half of the year and then pulling the trigger so to speak on new gear like this in the second half of the year. That's how I ended up with gear like this to review. So now for the introductions. Okay first up are these two platinum 3776 pins. The one that I really wanted was this burgundy or wine colored one with a fine nib. I ordered it directly from a Japanese merchant, but Amazon and the Japanese merchant gave up on it after months of waiting. Now while I was waiting, I ordered this black 3776 with a medium nib. It cost me a good bit more, but it came within a week after ordering it. And I'm glad that I ordered something different from the first one because lo and behold, a couple of weeks ago, the wine colored one showed up. So now I have two 3776s to show and compare. Now in a recent video I showed you my Spyderco Sage collection. I thought I had them all but I learned from your comments that a new Sage had been released. The Sage 5 Lightweight. And I really didn't have a choice. I had to buy it. I've been carrying it for the past week and I'll bring you my thoughts on it soon. And I apologize for the sticker price on the box, but I want to leave it on there. Both of these knives came from New Graham Knives, and they surprised me by giving me an unexpected discount as a loyal customer. I really appreciate that, but New Graham is my favorite knife retailer, discount or not. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that I'm a Klotzley fan. New Graham is the retail outlet in the U.S. for Klotzley knives, and this is the third one in my collection. Now, in my opinion, Klotzley and Chris Reeve knives are comparable in quality. Klotzleys are harder to come by, though, and they tend to have a cult following. Now, this is their Swiss Border Guard model, and it's the tactical knife in Klotzley's lineup. I've been considering it for a while, it's unusual in that it has a button lock. The only other knife that I have with a button lock is an inexpensive Boker. And I can tell you that Klotzley's version is much higher quality. Now it's still fairly stiff. I haven't been carrying this one. And I'll enjoy breaking it in over the next few weeks and giving you my thoughts on it in the future. And finally, the star of this show is my new Langdon Tactical Breda 92G Elite Compact. Now that's a mouthful, but this gun has a ton of features. I'll just cover a few of them. I just picked it up yesterday and I wanted to show it to you before I take it to the range and dirty it up. This is the highest quality handgun that I've ever owned. There's no doubt about it. Now it doesn't come cheap and I've had to consider buying it for at least a year and maybe two years. My main problem was choosing between the different Langdon Tactical models that they carry, the full-size 92, the Centurion with a shorter barrel but a full-size grip, and this compact model designed for concealed carry. And I think I made the right decision. Now, it comes with a ton of features, and I'll just mention a few. These special Langdon Tactical grips, the oversized mag release, checkering on both the front and the back strap. It has a Langdon Tactical trigger bar installed. It has a lighter hammer spring and also a full metal guide rod. Now, I paid for three optional add-ons that I'll mention. First of all, the Spartan night sights. That's really bright in the day and they light up at night. A special trigger job, which I look forward to actually using at the range. An MP3 coating on internal metal parts and the magazine. 
So the MP3 coating is a nickel Teflon coating. These magazines are coated in it and it just makes everything operate much smoother. Now it comes with three 15 round mags, a Beretta lock, and the usual paperwork which I won't show you right now. One thing I was impressed with though is they also include some of the factory parts that they take off. The factory trigger bar, factory sights, and the hammer spring that they replaced. I'm looking forward to taking it to the range. So there you have it. This is the cast of characters that you'll see on my channel over the next month or two. Now, I know not all you gun and knife guys are into pens, but as they say, the pen is mightier than the sword. Now, I'm not sure if that's true or not, but in my case, it doesn't really matter. I've got them both. Y'all take care.